Hello everyone, welcome back to higher mathematics. Really interesting problem today. We have x factorial equal to 2 to the x and we need to find our x in this interesting interesting equation. How can we find it? I want to show you my thought about this interesting problem. So first of all, I want to mention that right here 2 to the x is greater than 0 and right here x factorial is greater than 0 as well. And right now I want to show you a graph real quick. Let's sh I show you a graph. So for example, I show you a graph of x factorial. So you'll know that this graph looks like that. So 0, 1, right here we will have this one, this one. So this factorial function grows. As you can see, this factorial function grows. This is our x factorial. This function grows to, to infinity, as you can see. And right now on the right hand side, I want to draw a 2 to the x function. We all know this. This is an exponential function. This function looks like, looks like that. This is our 2 to the x. So this is our two, two graphs, factorial graph and on the right hand side 2 to the x. But why I draw this graph? I want to show you a really interesting moment. Let's find how much this function grows, how much faster. So let's take a look right here. We have our axis. So let's look, let's look at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for example. Right here we have our x factorial function and right here on the right hand side 2 to the x function. So let's find real quick these values. So if 0 factorial 1, 1 factorial 1, 2 factorial 2, 3 factorial 6, right here 24, 120 and 720. So this is the values of x factorial. And on the right hand side we have 2 to the x and let's find real quick 2 to the 0 power we will have 1, 2 to the 1 power we will have 2, 2 square 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. So as you can see, we find our values, how much fast this function grows. But I want to mention one really interesting thing. We have 2 to the x. And as you can see right here, we, if we compare with x squared, 2 to the x grows until this moment faster than, than x, faster grows this 2 to the x. So faster 2 to the x of this function in this way with the, between 0 and 3, this function 2 to the x grows much faster because 1, 1 and 2, 24, 6 and 8. But in, after this moment, after this moment, as you can see, factorial function grows faster because 24 greater than 16, 120, 720, so much faster grows right here our x factorial. So in this moment, I write this moment right here grows faster, so faster factorial function. So I want to mention that right here factorial function grows much faster than the exponential function. But be, but in this moment I want to write it right here. So take a look. I want to write this moment x. Right here we have 3, 4. I write only this way. So 3, 4. Right here we'll have x factorial. Right here 2 to the x right here 8, 16, and right here 6 and 24. So this is the moment of intersection. So this goes faster and then this go faster. So the root will be between 3 and 4. So they intersect between 3 and 4. I hope you see it. So they intersect between this way, between 3 and 4, intersect between. And if we are talking about the graph, I wanted to, to add both graph right here. I want to add both graph right here. So firstly, factorial function right here, I want to write it in, in that way. And I want to write an exponential function right here in that way, for example, right here, right here. So right here we have point of intersection with this function. And after this moment, this factorial function grows much faster. As you can see, this goes right here to plus infinity. And this goes not so much faster than f, x, x factorial. But be behind this point, x factorials not grow so much faster as 2 to the power x. So as you can see in this explanation, right here we'll have 3 and right here we'll have 4. So our point of intersection will be between 3 and 4. I hope you understand this explanation. So our point of intersection will be between 3 and 4. But I want to mention one more really interesting thing because 3 is integer, 4 is integer, but if you're talking about integer roots 3 or 4, we don't have any integer roots in this situation. So right here we will have no, no integer 
integer roots right here we will have no integer roots and let's go further we will know that x grows so much faster and i want to show you where can we find this root because right here no integer root but if you look closely to this moment we will have a point of intersection but what is this point because we will know that this is positive and this is positive they intersect only in positive way so we need to work with with combinations what combinations we need to work only with 0 1 2 and 3 because 4 5 6 7 there is will be no point of intersection but let's find algebraically so algebraic algebraic let's find this root so we have 1 factorial equal to 1 2 factorial equal to 1 times 2 3 factorial equal to 1 times 2 times 3 4 factorial equal to 1 times 2 times 3 and, and of course times 4 so as you can see for example right here 3 will be the same element in both ways but if we're talking about 2 to the x we will have just 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 so will be no will be x times and 3 will be null a factor so 3 won't be a factor on the left hand side we will have this 3 but on the right hand side we don't have this 3 so 3 will be no our our root so we need to check only so check only x equal to 0 1 and 2 let's check only these these roots and as you can see right here 0 will be a root to this problem because 1 if e equal to 1 x factorial equal to 1 exponential function equal to 2 so we reject this one these two we have 2 and 4 we reject this but if we're talking about 0 so x equal to 0 will be our one and only integer root because we will have 0 factorial equal to 2 to the 0 1 equal to 1 so we will have our root x equal to 0 factorial but if we're talking about a limit a, a real quick so the limit of x factorial i want to write it right here on the top so the limit of x factorial will be equal to if of course is x goes to to infinity so we'll have if a limit will be equal to infinity and moreover the limit of 2 to the x when x goes to infinity as well we will have infinity as well so on the left hand side will be infinity and on the right hand side will be infinity so right here we might have imaginary roots or hypothetical roots so maybe we will have imaginary roots imaginary imaginary roots but if we're talking about integer root x equal to zero is one and only root because and one more root but not integer will be between three and four between three and four so one root i want to write an answer but i don't have enough space so i write here i, I write answer so x equal to zero will be our will be our root and one more root will be x will be between three and four in this line between three and four and of course maybe we will have complex complex roots complex roots we will have complex roots one root between three and four and if we're talking about integer we will have zero this is my thought between problem about this problem of course we can solve it using logarithm so if you're interested in this of course i can record video using logarithm it will be more interesting to find this root between three and four but i find this is my thought about this solution so thank you so much for watching subscribing i really appreciate it if you still have any question write a question in the comment it will be really nice to read about it of course write your thought about this explanation of course it is not like a general solution because we need to take log from both of the sides and we need to find all roots including this root between three and four so this is not like a final solution but we need to to agree with this i think because this is a good explanation of course maybe you can explain it in another way it will be more interesting to read about it one root between three and four one point of intersection in, in, in this point and of course complex root because we have infinity equal to infinity and we don't know what will happen in this way so this is my explanation thank you so much for watching subscribing i really appreciate it and it helps me a lot too. it inspires me a lot too
to making your content every day. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.